All right, so you've got a castle size question, I bet. What is the absolute biggest castle in all of Ireland? Hmm, an excellent question. Well, luckily, this Love Ireland newsletter is like a treasure map for this kind of thing. Oh, fantastic. Let's dive in. It says here, ah, Trim Castle. Trim Castle. Okay, tell me more. What's the deal with Trim Castle? Well, when you say big, you mean it. It's a massive 30,000 square meters. That's huge E. Wow, that's not just a castle. That's a whole castle town. Why such a massive footprint? Uh, it was really a statement. Was it bragging rights or was there like a strategic reason? It was definitely a statement of power. Okay. Trim Castle was built by the Normans and uh, they weren't exactly known for their subtlety. Picture this. Yeah. You're an Irish chieftain used to wooden defenses, right? And suddenly this stone behemoth rises on the horizon. It's intimidating. Yeah. A symbol of dominance, you know, in a newly conquered land. Yeah. This land is ours now, written in stone, literally. Precisely. And the location wasn't just about good looks either. The River Boyne was a vital artery for trade, for transport. I mean, whoever controlled Trim Castle basically controlled the river traffic. And that could uh -huh. influence battles and trade and everything. So it's strategic A&D stunning. This yeah. Trim Castle is ticking all the boxes. Mm -hmm. And you know, it sits in County Meath, which the newsletter calls the Royal County. What makes it so royal? Oh, County Meath. Yeah. It's practically overflowing with royal history. Mm. You've got the Hill of Tara, the ancient seat of the High Kings of Ireland. Okay. And then there's Newgrange. Newgrange. Okay. Yeah, that one rings a bell. Older than the pyramids. Older than... Wow. So we're talking seriously ancient history here. Absolutely. I mean, think about it. While the pyramids were being built, the people of Newgrange were constructing this massive passage tomb that aligns with the winter solstice sunrise. Wow. I mean, it's incredible. It's a feat of engineering and astronomy. Yeah. Really impressive. So we're talking castles and kings and ancient astronomical wonders all within spitting distance. County Meath is sounding less like a place and more like a time machine at this point. You're not wrong. But let's not forget, this all stemmed from a single question about the biggest castle in Ireland. That's right, Trim Castle, the heavyweight champion of Irish fortresses. But you know, as fascinating as all this is, this newsletter has me wondering what other hidden gems we might uncover in here. And speaking of breathtaking sights, it also mentions the iconic cliffs of Moher. Now, those cliffs are practically a poster child for Ireland. Mm -hmm. What is it about them that draws people in? Oh, they're just awe-inspiring. Imagine standing on these sheer cliffs, waves crashing hundreds of feet below you. The Atlantic just stretches out forever. It really stays with you. Okay, can see why they're a must-see. The newsletter mentions a visitor's guide to the cliffs. Any insider knowledge we can get from that? Oh, yeah. It's more than just like opening times and parking. It goes into the geology. Okay. Formed over millions of years. Talks about the bird life. Puffins nesting on the cliffs. Wow. And of course, all the folklore and mythology. See, this is what I love about these deep dives. We start with a simple question about castle sizes, and suddenly we're into ancient history and breathtaking landscapes. And ghost stories, probably, if we're lucky. Exactly. And speaking of which, we have to go back to this place name, Hackball's Cross. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost afraid to ask, but what's the story behind that one? Well, let's just say that balls in Irish place names. It often refers to a specific anatomical feature. Okay. Usually having to do with a ford or a crossing point. Right. I think I'm starting to get the picture here. Hackball's Cross. Might have been a bumpy ride back in the day. I'll bet. Yeah. You know, I was once driving through rural America and came across a town called Toad Suck. Sometimes those quirky names are the ones you remember. Absolutely. It makes you wonder what kind of stories you'd hear if you sat down in a pub. Indeed. And that's something the newsletter touched on. The magic of hearing stories in an Irish pub. Because the best stories start with a pint of Guinness, or so I've heard. Yep. What is it about those Irish pubs that makes them such hubs for storytelling? I think Irish pubs are more than just places to drink. They're community centers. Gathering places, stories are shared, music is played, you know, friendships are forged over a pint. <laughs> really welcoming atmosphere. I can practically hear the fire crackling. Smell the peat smoke, feel the warmth of the laughter and the conversation. Makes you wonder what other hidden gems and conversations are tucked away in the villages and towns just waiting. It's that sense of discovery, isn't it? Mm. Makes travel so rewarding. It's not just about ticking off the main attractions. Right. It's about those serendipitous moments, yeah. the detours, the connections you make along the way. Speaking of serendipitous moments, the newsletter also mentions something about autumn being the perfect time to visit Ireland's gardens. What makes this season so special? 
So instead of me battling summer crowds at the usual spots, you're saying I should be wandering through gardens with the autumn colors. Yeah, it's the beauty of Ireland. Always something to appreciate no matter what time of year you go. But autumn, it does have a certain charm. Yeah. Imagine strolling through Power Scourt Gardens or Mount Usher. The air is crisp. The leaves are changing. Golds and crimsons everywhere. It's really something. You've painted quite the picture. Mm. And I got to say, this whole deep dive has been really fun. I came in just wanting to know about the biggest castle, and now I'm ready to book a trip to Ireland. Who knew a newsletter could be so inspiring? Well, there's always something new to discover, even in places we think we know. Like that saying, the world is a book, and those who don't travel only read one page. That's right. This newsletter has been just a few chapters in the story of Ireland. A little inspiration to write a few chapters of your own. I like it. Well, dear listener, as you ponder your next adventure, think about this. What hidden gems and unforgettable experiences are waiting for you on the Emerald Isle? Hmm. Maybe it's a pint in a cozy pub or a walk along a windswept cliff. Or a charming village with a name that makes you laugh. The possibilities, they're endless. The possibilities are endless. Happy travels, everybody. We'll see you next time.